What is up guys, back in today with another reaction on the channel and today I'll be reacting to the first episode of Nichija. Uh, really looking forward to this, um, honestly just thought I'd try this show out, it sounds amazing, I've heard some really good things. It's by Kyoto Animation Studio who have done some of my fa favourite anime, Violet Evergarden being uh, the one that first comes to mind but they've done Dragon Maid and a few other things I've watched as well um, and they just do some top quality work. So again just thought I'd try this first episode out and then um, should be covering this one episode a week going forward I believe but yeah, just uh, excited to see what this first episode has got in store. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy this video. And subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions. And let's get into the first episode. I've not got too much of an idea what to expect. I think it's like a slice of life comedy. But yeah, we'll see. It's definitely got a very interesting art style. The cherry, cherry blossoms bloom. <laughs> I just want to stay simple minded. And we're getting thrust right into things. Nichi Joe 01. And this is just, I think it's quite contained, it's just a one season deal. One and done type of uh, type of show. Well, There's twenty six episodes. Oh. Why has this girl got a wind up on her back? <laughs> what is it then? And it's still your fish. Would you eat that anyway? With it now being bitten by a cat? I guess you could just cut that part off. Perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> so this is what you do get like getting like dragon made and stuff you get some really like out there beautiful animation of just like seeing any weird events big animation like that okay here's the opening i was going to react to the opening endings but i saw that there was two openings and about 30 fucking endings or something ridiculous <laughs> so i didn't bother what happened there though? that was a mass explosion But as I said, yeah, I was going to watch the openings and endings, but uh, obviously it's not 30, but there's like 20 different special endings or something crazy. So there's a little bit of romance slash love in this, it does seem like. The lyrics very much emphasize that. She fall in love? Oh damn. <laughs> oh. That does is a scary, scary sign. As I said, lots of weird, very weird, very out there things already. <laughs> this is what I'm seeing here. Lots of very strange imagery. <laughs> I like it though. As I said, uh, like Dragon Maid is something similar. I don't think it's Dragon Maid seems quite as weird as this, as crazy as Dragon Maid is. Oh, I've seen one of those before. I've also seen one of those little dolls. It looks like that Digimon. Salama Pagi. Indonesian.
<laughs> she ignored my Indonesian. How dare she? I hope so. And there's the other one. Again, I recently just saw something. What was it I watched that had one of these in? I don't know what they mean. I think it, oh, it was uh, Sengoku Yoko, which is a a story that is um, not. It's a very underrated story. I'm watching the season. Um, yeah, it's a story about like loads of like legends and kind of myths and such. So maybe this is like some kind of legendary slash mythic kind of symbols right here. I don't really get what get what they are, but I think they came from that explosion, didn't they? From that mum. Uh, from what I get from different, is that mum? Does that mum fall in love with a student? <laughs> it, it kind of looks like that. That might be what's happening here. Oh, you, you, maybe you just got double lucky. Akadeko. <laughs> and there's the, there's the fish. Oh, we also saw a fly. That must be horrible as well. Stinky fish land on your hair. Effectual. I said, wow, that's a haircut. Fucking hell. That guy's like like a uh, a minister or something. Like one of those wigs that um, judges wear. Undecided. <laughs> she tried to make that a thing. Please do. Really? Ah. You know, it's Indonesian as well. <laughs> Naniko. Teacher, she seems quite. She looks exactly like the students. I think that might be quite hard, honestly, in a show, judging who's an adult and who's a bloody kid. Um, seems quite quiet. This homeroom teacher. Sasahara Senpai. Again, we're really just getting thrust into things. There'll be a lot to take in for the fact. What the fuck? How did you get there? There'll be a lot to take in for this first episode. <clears throat> Her hands gone. So she is a robot. And a wind up robot. 
But how? And a lot to take in already. I'm playing Dark Hunt out here. Jesus, I was awfully close to the dog. Yeah, that's what I do with my dip finner, uh, finner, dinner a lot of the time. Eat the greens, eat the veg and such first. Leave the best things for last. Oh no, she dropped the squid sausage. I was just going to land on the... Oh, oh, damn, that was almost a catch and a half. Just going to land on the table, right? That'll be fine. Holy crap. <laughs> We're going hands. Oh no, she just slapped it. Again, that would have landed on the table. That would have been fine. Oh shit. She's ready. Oh my god. <laughs> In the dude's hair. And out the other side. Wow, this is some incredible animation here for a falling sausage. <laughs> And it slipped out. How slippery is this sausage? Oh, just one bounce off the floor, not too bad for, an, for a nanosecond. And again, nice catch. It did touch the floor. <laughs> But for a nanosecond, yeah, exactly. Again, what the fuck? <laughs> that was incredible. And all it was was a falling sausage. I feel like that's going to be a thing of this show, isn't it? Like a really weird little two minute kind of segments like that. That just are just phenomenal. <laughs> Got flowers for a hand now. Okay, good start though. I'm liking it. Again, it's a, it's a lot to take in because it's yeah, just getting frost right into things, but I'm liking it. So what was that? <laughs> Sure, I like this guy's voice actor. It's uh, Brooke from One Piece. Was that a joke? I guess there's some kind of joke to do with like the language. Double meanings and stuff. She's laughing at this. Wow. I'm kind of 
tentacle in her hair. Squid. <laughs> no wonder she's laughing. Just take it out for her. I could I sense it. Cool name. At Sakurai Sensei. Seems so nervous. <laughs> Why is this guy so triggered? This guy is the goat, the goat traveler. Hey, and that's and she that's who she's in love with, goat guy. Jesus. Achibana Misato. There's the fucking look at that guy's hair. Is that the goat? Is this guy the, is this guy a goat? <laughs> he kinda looks like a goat. Where'd they leave the goat? A good fucking question. Put a leech on him or something? I guess so. <laughs> wow. Do you know what? That gives you hope, doesn't it? That gives you hope for your aspiring romantic relationships. The goat guys got big fans. There goes the squid. Octopus. And it's back. I'm not sure that's what deja vu is, but I've had deja vu a few times. Seemingly doing the exact same thing. Um, yeah, it's strange, strange feeling. Oh. <laughs> It's a birthday present. Is that a joke? Like, I don't get it. Is it like one of the worst jokes you've ever heard? Or just does it not make sense in English? <laughs> he looks so content though, doesn't he? <laughs> the fact that his joke was bad. <laughs> Look at his little reaction as he leaves the stage here. It's just like, thanks. <laughs> oh, I like this guy. Again, I don't understand anything he's said really in any way, shape or form. But I like him. Wow, quite, quite the start to this show, hey? Quite the start of the show. If you guys are watching this show the first time with me like I am, let me know what you guys are feeling like as well. Because it's a lot to take in, isn't it? Bloody hell. There's a lot going on. A lot of spinning wheels. I like it though. It's different. Very different. <laughs> no, I've done that in high school once. I just... The, uh, the fire alarm was looking... Yeah, 
It didn't do anything there. I pressed it and it didn't actually do anything. I guess that should, uh, school should sort that out. Helva what? Helva Tika Standard. Sorry to pause again. What did it translate to? Unable to read the atmosphere. Kuki Yomenai. 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 Kuki Yomenai. 1815. Again, you get, there's so many little segments in this show as well. So many little cutesy segments and fun little segments, isn't there? Seems like, again, it's got like that overall kind of story of the episode a little bit, and then it's got, again, like maybe like five or six or maybe even more little segments throughout. And pretty cool little, uh, the <laughs> setup that we've got going on. <clears throat> yeah, it, it, it very much did in that situation. What are matters and things to be done? And I look at that little pompous fucking, what do you call that? Not a tie, but it's like kind of pompous tie. <laughs> and so. Shimenone Nano. And, and the. So she's the professor? Well, this was like her mum. That's why I found it weird that she fell into that guy and might fall in love with him earlier. That's a big outage. I haven't done that in years. And let's hope I don't do it anytime soon. Although my feet are pretty good at that kind of stuff. I've got strong feet. <laughs> I play football a lot, so my feet have been through a lot of stress and pain. That's an odd scenario we've got going on here again. I thought this was mother and daughter. Blonde one being the daughter this whole time. Is that Andy from Under Dunlock? It is kind of cute, actually. I do like little wind-up things like that. Oh, yeah, good point. She can't ever really sit on a chair. We were back, then, anyway. I need Jesus, yep. Okay. There's the guy she bumped into. Oh god, where he end up? He missed school, <laughs> unfortunate. Okay, 
So, so that seems like this is the end. Wow. <laughs> Again, that really just thrust you into things, didn't it? Holy shit. Very good, though. I like it. Again, very off the cuff, very, um, very interestingly timed in a good way, in my opinion. Again, Japanese anime, especially when I started it, was very different. Um, and that was a big reason why I liked it so much. But this is like, this is, this, uh, different is like such a light word to describe this show. <laughs> this is like, yeah, this is a crazy format and I like it. Again, it's very romantic in the lyrics for the opening ending, isn't it? I'm in love. Again, love the style as well. That animation segment with the sausage was just insane. Oh, Yasumi Nasai. I think that sums it up. <laughs> I think that seems sums up right there. We've got the preview being done by the big toe of the robot fucking girl that some little girl was made. Oh my god. <laughs> that was in that was insane. Um yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um I wasn't expecting it to be quite as crazy as it was. I was expecting maybe a slow start into some slice of life, kind of getting to know some of the characters, but just get thrust right in there. Uh learners I, I like their style, they're doing things. It's actually Something I prefer, um, in a way. I don't get me wrong. I like slow setups and such as well. But I um, sometimes it does feel a bit repetitive. I do like just kind of again just being chucked in there and learning about the characters as the story goes on, rather than getting told a bunch of exposition and such about the characters and how they are. We really got to see um, the styles of the characters. The, the three main girls seemingly at school being. Uh, we we got a very good look at how they are as people in today's episode but yeah loads of little kind of comedy segments throughout the episode as well seems like they've got some short stories and that's like i think we saw like four or five kind of um stories that kind of make up the episode and then we've got little kind of like 10 second segments throughout that as well maybe like five or ten of those so um if that's the setup going forward i'm, I'm looking forward to that because again some of these segments were absolutely insane animation wise um some of them were absolutely hilarious there's a lot of funny characters in this show uh the uh the principal was a standout for me honestly uh obviously all the girls are really cute and really funny but yeah the principal the goat guy there's a lot of very weird off the cuff people in this show so um there's a lot of very weird and off the cuff things in general from this episode but yeah very good start in my opinion uh, again I, I think this is one this this would it's a very interesting one because like it, imagine showing this to uh, someone that hasn't ever watched anime they not sure how they'd react to it i think it's, this seems like one of those shows that you probably you don't understand whatsoever and you hate or you you don't understand whatsoever in your love or maybe you do understand it and you love it but i i, I i'm in that kind of plate of i don't understand a lot of it that there's a, probably a lot of Japanese jokes to do with the language that go past my head, especially with the principal, but it's still fucking still funny nevertheless. Yeah, um, I'm just like at a loss, but I absolutely love it. <laughs> and uh, looking forward to seeing what we've got in episode two next week. Uh, do let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comment section. Um, if you guys, again, watching it for the first time, let me know what you guys uh, think and what you guys made of this one. Again, it was a lot to take in, wasn't it? But um, yeah, really fun time. That absolute breeze past. Uh, leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. I'll be back, as I said, next week with episode two. So I'll see you guys then. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.